All right, good evening, everybody. Today we're going to be doing our homework for adding integers. All right, I'm going to take number seven on and get all the odd ones. That leaves you the even ones tonight. Uh, it says, uh, level practice for seven through nine. Use a number line to help find the sum. Well, number seven says five plus negative three is blank units from five in the blank direction. Well, uh, well, it says from five, so that means we're going to go uh, in the direction of five first. Now they're saying uh, negative three, so this means we're going to be going backwards three from five, right? The negative direction three, right? So that's one, two, three. So uh, there's three units, right? Uh, from five in the, we're going to go negative. Direction. Okay. Um, and that should cover that one. Let's go and move to number nine. Number nine states, uh, in city A, the temperature rises nine degrees from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Okay, it rose from nine degrees from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Then the temperature drops eight degrees from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. So the next hour we drop eight degrees. Uh, in city B, the temperature drops five degrees from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Okay, uh, then the temperature drops four degrees from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Well, it looks like they went ahead and gave us two number lines to work with. So why don't we label this one uh, City A. And we'll label this one City B. All right, uh, now it's asking us uh, in question A, what expression represents the change in temperature for city A? Well, it says here in city A, the temperature was nine degrees um, from, nine from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., so nine degrees. Uh, then the temperature drops eight degrees, so that's going to be a positive nine, and we're going to add that to a negative eight. All right. And uh, 9 minus 8 uh, will be our change in temperature, right? But that is the expression that we would write, uh, 9 plus a negative 8. And if you guys put 9 minus 8, I guess I would accept that too. What integer represents the change in temperature for city B? Or excuse me, city A, the change. Well, like we said, 9 minus 8, there is a 1 degree change in temperature. What expression represents the change in temperature for uh, change in temperature for city B. Before I go on here, on the number line, that would ex be expressed nine minus A. So we'd be going nine minus eight, we'd be going this way, nine. And uh, minus eight, we'd be going backwards eight on the number line, which would put us at one. Okay, does everyone see that? We went forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we back, went backward eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does everyone want to see how we got one? Now let's try that with city B. Uh, what expression represents the change in temperature for city B? Well, in city B, the temperature drops five degrees. So we're going backwards five degrees. That's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Then the temperature drops four more degrees from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. So we're going to go another four from here. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. That'll place us all the way over here at negative nine. So when I ask for the expression, we're going to have a uh, negative five. We're going to be adding that to negative four. Well, negative 5 and negative 4 are going to make uh, the integer that represents the change in temperature, which would be negative 9. 
which city has the greater change in temperature from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m.? Well, both of them were given uh, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., right? And as you can see, there was only a one degree change uh, in those two hours in city A and a nine degree change in city B. So we're gonna go with city B. All right, let's move on to number 11. I'm leaving number 10 for you guys. Uh, a deep sea diver dives 81 feet from the surface. All right, then he dives 14 more feet. The diver's depth can be represented by negative 81 plus negative 14. What is the diver's present location? Well, if we're combining negative 81 and combining it with negative 14, both these signs are the same, so we simply add this together and keep the sign. We're going further back on the number line, right? So this would be five, because four plus one is five, and eight plus one is nine. That means we're negative 95, um, let's see, feet. Uh, from the surface, right? 95, what is the price? 95 feet from the surface. All right, uh, let's go ahead and go to number 13. Number 13 says critique reasoning. A submarine traveling uh, 200 meters below the surface of the ocean increases its depth by 45 meters. Adam says uh, that the new location of the submarine is negative 155 meters. Describe an error Adam could have made that would have resulted in this answer he gave. Well, let's look at this closely. It said that it traveled 200 meters below. So that's negative 200 right there because we're going below, right? Uh, below the surface of the ocean. Then it increases its depth. Now increasing the depth means it's going even lower, which means we're going another negative 45 meters. As we can tell, uh, this is going to increase the depth. So we're gonna go uh, negative 200 and 45 meters. Now, his answer of 155 doesn't make any sense. So you have to wonder, how did he come up with 155? Now, let's go ahead and, and take the 200 that he had, and we'll minus 155 from it. And I think I understand what happened, but this is just to kind of make sure we know what we're talking about. Uh, if we were to do this, I would have to go ahead and borrow one. And as you can see, we're gonna have 45 left over. Look at that, the 45 meters. Looks to me what Adam did was he added a positive 45 instead of subtracting the, uh, or adding a negative 45 to the 200. So if I had to give a guess, uh, I would say, let's make this a little smaller. Uh, Adam added, um, 45 meters instead of subtracting 45 meters. All right, so let's, uh, that pretty much answered that one. Let's see if there's another one. Uh, that was 13, so we can go to 15 now. Looks like I got the last one on the list. Uh, it says here, higher order thinking. Samantha has $300 for a guitar lesson to learn her favorite song. Mrs. Jones charges $80 per lesson and requires uh, three lessons to teach Samantha the song. All right, she has $300 for guitar lessons to learn her favorite song. Mrs. Jones charges $80 per lesson and requires three lessons uh, to teach Samantha's the song. So if it's $80 a lesson and three, well, that tells me that's going to be 80 times three right there. 
but let's go on. Uh, this is, well, it looks like we're going two different ones. Let's go with Mrs. Jones first. Mrs. Jones. And that looks like it's going to be $80. I'm going to have to multiply that by three guitar lessons, which is going to give us $240. that we're going to have to pay Mrs. Jones to learn uh, this particular song. Now, Mrs. Belts, or Bellets, I will go over here, Mr. Bellets, excuse me. Mr. Belize, maybe, it's pronounced. Now he charges 62 per lesson, $62 a lesson. Uh, let's see, and we'll require four lessons to teach her. So that's gonna be multiplied by four, right? Uh, well, if we do that, we see that we got four times two and that's gonna give us eight. And uh, four times six, which will give us 224. And we can see that's going to be 248. Um, use integers to represent uh, what each teacher charges, which is the better deal for Samantha. Well, it looks to me that Mrs. Jones is going to be about $8 cheaper. So I'm going to say Mrs. Jones. All right. Well, that looks like all for tonight for me. Good luck with the rest of, that you have and see you tomorrow.